This is John Spiewak with Spiewak Preservation Consultants, and we're up here at the University of Wisconsin Madison working on North and South Hall, which was built in 1849, which you see behind me. Uh, it's actually all enclosed for winter construction. We're doing the training today on STR, the stone repair treatment number five, that's stone replacement and removal for the project. And today we're actually executing all the work required to actually take out a stone and put a new replacement stone in place and part of the actual stone replacement program. The training participants were released to the scaffold to start the hands-on work with the tools and to become familiar with the removal options discussed in the lecture. The objective of the training was to allow each participant to be involved with the steps to remove a single piece of stone from the facade without causing damage to the surrounding stone. Walking out now. We're creating quite a hole here, Ray. Huh? like this have to be put in a pile in buckets and we're going to put them in water and soak these pieces in water for uh, you know they can go right into the water right after you're taking them out of the wall just clean some of the mortar off of it you know, probably, yeah. all stone was set aside first in buckets of water to pre-soak them prior to laying them in the wall surface areas That's I mean, that one. No, this is hydraulic lime mortar. No, no, the one in uh, Joey's hand. No, that's, yeah. that's lime mortar. Here. Yeah, it might not be. Get your weightlifting belt up holes back in there. Prior to setting the replacement stone, the backup rubble work was first consolidated with lime putty mortar using the Harling technique. The Harling technique involves tossing the mortar material into the wall cavity with a throwing force, enough to attach the material securely to the rubble backup stonework. You get that back in there, Kyle? They're getting replaced. You see that? All right, that should, that should be good. And now we're gonna put this other piece of uh, stone right here. I think that's the one that we had that fit right in there in that hole. I think we turned it a certain way and it kind of fit in there. Flat. Small pieces of stone and original mortar were inserted into the mortar and packed yep. tightly around the bed and head joint areas of the cavity to prior to setting the replacement stone. This is where your big hole is right here. There you go. See, like John said, there's room for the air to move around in there. And nice. Okay. Got that nice and tight down there? Okay, good. So just go ahead and pack, pack some more mud in there. The replacement stone should be dry fitted and then soaked prior to setting to ensure proper spacing and to match the surrounding surface areas. Setting the stones should be done on a well placed, evenly furrowed mortar bed. Hand to steady it. Right and dry, right on the top. There you go, bro. You got it. Okay. Once it's in, pull that thing out. I'll show you how. There you go. Give me side. Give me side. A total of 12 individuals received certificates for the training component STR number no. 5 stone removal and replacement at the North and South Halls at the University of Wisconsin. Okay, we're now finished with uh, installing the stone into the wall after we removed the deteriorated rock from the, from the actual wall. This piece right here that you see was actually two pieces. It was split right in the middle and we now replaced it with one entire piece of stone that goes back about 12 inches into the wall. In order to do that, uh, after we've taken out all the stone, we packed in this, the, uh, the rubble work behind here with large amounts of lime mortar using our hands and throwing it in like baseball method, like harling, like they do in Scotland, to get it all compacted well back into the rubble work. Then we place the stone in, in place with shims and then we pack the mortar back in using wood to uh, place the mortar back to make sure it's fully packed in. 
So now we've got this mortar back packed in all the way around the stone. All these were set. This one was relayed. 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 This is all relayed back to the inflate flush finish of the wall. And the mortar now is about that far back, ready to receive the pointing mortar once the pointing campaign is ready to start.